It's that time of the year again. All three mobs for the mob mode for 1.21 have been revealed, leaks has been busted, and the revolution is rising. Boy, we've got a lot to cover today. Let's first of all start off with the mobs from the mob mode as they have all three been revealed. And right off the bat, as it turns out, the so called leak with the Minecraft playlist was indeed fake. First of all, we got the crab, which from what we know will give the player longer reach forward building when holding one of its claws, and the mob will have its home in the mangrove swamp. Second we got the armadillo, which will spawn not only in one biome but multiple, as Mojang has stated that it will spawn in warm biomes, so that could be the savannah, desert and maybe even the mesa, adding more life to those old biomes. This mob's ability will be to craft wolf armor from its scoots. Thirdly we got the penguin. This little fella will spawn in stony shores and its ability will be to move boats faster in the water. Now the question is, which one of these will win the mob vote? So far it's actually quite mixed, however looking at a bunch of different polls from different fellow creators, we can see that it is mostly the crab in the lead, with a few exceptions leading to the armadillo. However there has also been quite a few creators excited for the penguin, so we'll have to see what happens, but from the raw data that we got here, I would think that the crab is going to win the vote, but we'll have to see. Now while we are on the topic of the mob vote, it has come to my attention that it has been rumored that the Chinese edition of Minecraft have had some information given about the mobs that wasn't given to everyone else, specifically the rumor of the crab claw being able to also break blocks with extra reach in addition to place blocks with extra reach. However, that has since then been changed and an update was given by the same Twitter slash X user that that feature is no longer confirmed. Again, I would like to say how dangerous it can be to just take a rumor or something that you see on the internet as facts without doing your own research. Research. In this case it sounds like some mistake on Mojang's end with the Chinese texts, as this person only translates it and from my understanding of their timeline, the Chinese text is changing quite a bit and quite often. But just to give an example, imagine the scenario where the majority of people believed that the crab claw would also be able to break blocks in an extra reach, then voting for it because of that, resulting in it winning the mob vote, and then it turns out that it's all false and the crab can't break blocks with extended reach. People all over would be disappointed, annoyed and most likely blame Mojang when it wasn't even their fault to begin with just because of a simple rumor and one person sitting somewhere laughing. Anyway with that said, thanks a lot to Twitter slash X user for keeping us updated with the translations, that's pretty awesome. Now let's say it's time to cast your final vote. How do you decide? What is your reason for voting for mob XYZ? Your reason to voting on a mob should be purely from your heart. What you would like to see added to the game? What would make you the most happy to see added to your world? It doesn't have to be only functionality either, like wool farmer or building reach. It can also purely just be from cuteness or the biome it spawns in that you wish had a little bit more life. Vote on the one that feels right to you. Forget all the rumors, stick with the certain information that we know for sure and have been given from Mojang, rewatch the videos Mojang provided and make a vote based on that, and not what goes around that may or may not be true. And remember, the mob vote is supposed to be fun. As for me, I'm personally voting for the penguin. A bit of a shock, I know, and also not a popular opinion. <laughs> I just think that this mob is really cute and a lot of people have been wanting penguins in the game for a very long time now and now that it's finally here I think it would be really cool if it gets added and would make a fun little mob addition to the game adding some extra atmosphere and life in the stony beaches. While I do think that the armadillo and crab is cool I think they will be added and forgotten pretty quickly like I feel the LA and the sniffer was. Now before we end off this video, I would like to become a little bit serious and say what on earth is this madness? A Minecraft revolution, are you kidding me? Firstly, it is only 300,000 people out of 140 million active players monthly, so it is thankfully the minority. And secondly, how about appreciating that we get a game that has been updated from alpha to beta to release aka 1.0 all the way to 1.21 and continuing without having to pay anything extra whatsoever. Buy the game once and you're good. Not a lot of games does that. And secondly, what other game even has this much interaction with their community by having a yearly poll on what mob to be added to the game? A mob. 
It's a creature in the game, that's a huge deal. Every year there is negativity against the developers and Mojang as a whole, and it's only gotten worse, and this time around, I haven't seen this much negativity regarding the mob vote ever. Stop this madness. It's honestly pathetic and a bit sickening. I understand not everyone is happy with the mob vote system, but guess what? It's impossible to please everyone. And I should add as well that even so, Mojang still keeps improving year by year, trying to please as many people as possible. And this is the thanks they get. If you signed or will be signing off for this, I actually hope you get banned from playing the game. And I'm not kidding. You don't deserve this game and the awesome community behind it. And to the people that also get annoyed by this like I do and find it extremely stupid, just remember, it's always the negative people that scream the loudest. But let's put that behind us because we are now at the end of the video and I like to leave things on a positive note. Let me know in the comments which mob you will be voting for. I'm excited to see the results of this and what Minecraft 1.21 will be about. I'm excited for this year's Minecraft Live. I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty big one. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, goodbye.